Good morning. Here we are with uh, Leticia Damrabal. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Good. Thank you so much for, for letting us come to your, your studio today and, and taking some time to talk to us. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you were able to come and I'm honored to have you uh, interview me. Well, no, it's uh, exciting for me. I, I've been wanting to talk to you a while for, uh, you know, for this. And, and even before we were doing this, I, I always am interested in your art and your process and stuff. And um, th this studio is really cool. Uh, so, yeah, this is brand new. I mean, uh, I just moved and this is my new home studio. Um, before that, I was working at my kitchen table, and now it's really nice to have a dedicated space. So I'm looking forward to see, uh, you know, what I get to create uh, in this new space. And actually, this is mine and my five-year-old daughter's studio because we collaborate a lot. Um, so it's our joint space. So um, we're looking forward to a lot of creativity flowing in here. That's cool. It's very spacious. I see she's got a little station too. and Yeah, she's got her own desk and I have mine and we work side by side. And sometimes we work together, like just on the same piece of canvas or whatever we're working on, like at the same time. And it's just kind of like um, back and forth uh, play between the two of us. That's cool. And so you kind of work off each other's um, ideas and energy and stuff. Definitely. It's very intuitive. Uh, it's more like working off of, she feeds my energy a lot, like, and she, I'm learning from her and how um, loose her, her style is, you know, as a young child, she's uninhibited. Uh, and that really helps me to, um, to be more uh, playful and in, uh, uninhibited as well. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. And um, well, you all, both you and your daughter, had a, a show together um, a few months ago. Uh, gosh, it was probably already like a year last ago. Year. It was God. already February of last that's year. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it seems like just yesterday. You know. Yeah, she she was yeah four four and a half at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, at the camp. So it was um, it was very nice to have her work. Um, exhibited for the first time and that was your first time showing together i think it was a year before actually i had my solo mm -hmm. and then then we had that group exhibition with a third artist silvana uh, soriano yeah. okay cool very cool and how did you guys put that together uh and uh and can you talk about the concept and and sure actually it was uh the camp gallery's uh, owner melanie papopoulos who came up with the idea um like we were just doing these works um, that were um, very much about our identities as women and girls and Silvana Soriano's work was also very much um, in the same vein so um, I, Melanie thought there was some synergy there so she put us together and that was called looking at you looking at me right looking at you looking at me yeah, yeah. It, it was a lot about like the the, the female you know the the male gaze and how women are viewed and, um, have, you know, regaining the power of like having, um, ourselves look, um, more at what we want people to see of us rather than, um, being objects of like, uh, just like the male gaze, I guess. Right, right, yeah. right. Uh, stereotypes and right. sort of like whatever is hot at the moment. Exactly, <laughs> and I remember yeah. you had some interesting, like kind of, uh, fun, uh, images that you, started with photographs and you manipulated them? Yes, um, that, those pieces were very heavily um, uh, digital. Um, I did some um, self-portraits um, and uh, manipulated them with Photoshop uh -huh. um, to make myself look kind of like emaciated and uh, just like, I guess, what uh, was expected of models, maybe not today so much, but back when I was younger. Uh, so, but I mean, even today, there's a lot of body shaming and, sure, sure. um, whatnot. So, yeah. Was that your first time working in that kind of medium, like combining those two, uh, photography and, and Photoshop and stuff like to, to present in a show? Yeah. I mean, th this was the first time that I, that I did it to, you know, to that extent. Um, I've, you know, been working with photography and Photoshop like since I guess I was a teenager. Um, you know, I, I, I was studying at Dash and I, you know, was introduced to Photoshop when I was in, I guess, ninth grade. Wow. So I've been at it since. And like before that, when I was in Haiti with um, my, my dad had like an old Apple computer and we had, or, or actually I had an Apple and I did basic on it. I would 
do animations, but then that he had an old IBM that he gave me that had like paint on it, I guess. And I started like making like digital uh, art. I was like maybe 10. Get out of here. Yeah. And so. was that influenced through your parents or you just kind of like stumbled on it? No, like it was just, I mean, I had like um, computer classes mm -hmm. uh, at the school where I was in Haiti. Um, and like they were teaching us basic, which was like the computer language back then. Mm -hmm. um, Is that DOS or something? Well, it was, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, no, it was after DOS. Yeah, <laughs> DOS is like a little before my time. DOS, like yeah, first. Yeah, and to, yeah, I did. I still had to use some DOS prompts to get in the computer sometimes. Right, right, right. But um, basic was like uh, the language you could use. It, it was a precursor to HTML, I guess, in a, okay. in a way, because you could right. really create um, thing programs. You know, based on what you wanted to do, it was, I guess it was like the pre precursor to apps. Right, right, right. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Because yeah, I remember when I first started messing with computers, it was kind of like it was super basic, right? <laughs> like I don't know, but and we're kind of around the same age, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, when did you um? So uh, when did you move here from Haiti? And I was twelve years old when I came okay. here. Um, so uh, a. 33 yeah. years ago. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, so I've been in Miami except for two years when I was in New York uh, at Parsons. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I've not gone back to Haiti in like 33 years. Oh my years. gosh. I mean, I, I guess we took a, a cruise once and ended up in the northern part of Haiti, you yeah. know, the touristy part. But it's the... not the same mm. as, you know, being back in the country, really. Sure, sure. Yeah. And so you've had a lot of, um, in your education, as far as a lot of art background, um, can you talk a little bit about your start at Dash and things? Oh, oh yeah, sure. Actually, um, so I, I've been an artist all my life. Like, I guess, like, my, my daughter's five now, and I've probably been drawing, like, since, we, you know, I was around that age or younger. Hmm. But uh, I never had any formal art classes until high school. Uh, somehow, like, I guess I always managed to escape it. Um, like, I just... It wasn't like when I came here and I had to choose an elective, all I could pick from was like either language um, or computers. So mm -hmm. I ended up, I took Spanish one year and then I did um, more computer classes another year. So I never had art classes until, um, you know, my, you know, I, I was getting distracted drawing a lot in class. <laughs> and, I, you know, I was in the French program at Carver Middle School and then you know, my parents were like, well, you know, if you want to pursue art, you know, there is this school, Dash, and I guess Dash had been on, on the news a lot. And uh, my mom worked for, uh, you know, the county public schools at the time. So um, she knew about the different schools. So um, I went and auditioned. And then so in ninth grade, I started at Dash. And from there, you know, I just kept going. And um, then I went to... Um, I was in a Bachelor of uh, Art program uh, at Parsons mm -hmm. while I was studying fashion design. Wow. Um, but unfortunately, you know, my grandmother, which she was like my heart, like um, she passed away when I was 17 because mm -hmm. I graduated at 16. I was over there in New York alone. Wow. That was already very stressful. And then she passed away so that I came like pretty much undone. So I had to come back home. Mm -hmm. uh, so from there I did art education at FIU oh, okay. so but teaching art is not um, it's not I mean I teach art to my daughter um, but teaching as a public school teacher is really not my jam yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I've been I've been working in graphic design uh, freelancing uh, I worked in marketing and did you know different things that were related to art mm -hmm. um, for a while and then when the Few, you know, fast forward a few years when uh, the pandemic hit, um, I was stuck at home and uh, my daughter was just about like, I guess, two. Um, and I just, we just like, we were stuck and we started like, just making art on our little patio in North Miami Beach. Um, and that was that like, really freeing and really helped us get through these um, months and years mm -hmm. basically of being uh, you know isolated yeah, yeah. Uh, with COVID and everything so and then in, in those years like I met 
uh, Melanie uh, through Fama, uh, Fiber Artist, uh, Fi Fiber Artist Miami, um, <laughs> Fiber Artist Miami Association, oh, okay. um, which is like uh, it's three uh, artists. Uh, one of them is Aurora Molina, who I knew from Pam, because um, I worked at Pam as a teaching artist. Uh, and she started this um, with along with two other uh, textile artists and so um, I was doing this textile work um, you know to promote that textile art is actually fine art and mm -hmm. not a craft like it's been kind of like pigeonholed for, for so many years um, and through through Fama I met Melanie Prapopoulos and she asked me if I wanted her to represent me. Mm. So, you know, since like, I guess 2020, I've been represented by Camp Gallery. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's pretty much kind of like my, been my journey thus far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess the, the fiber art that you work on now, was it kind of inspired from your time at Parsons and your garment making and stuff like that and designing? Uh, or were you doing that before? You know? I... So, like, even when I was um, not doing art, uh, like, I'd say professionally, like, I was, you know, when I was doing graphic design or whatever, I always um, was still making garments, um, mm -hmm. but I was, like, I, I was doing things with, like, recycled t-shirts. Kind of for yourself. And yeah, and just, like, yeah. um, repurposing uh, old clothes and making, mm -hmm. like, all these like I did this line of like bathing suits from recycled t-shirts mm. and stuff like that um so yeah it was always informed um by my uh education in fashion um but then you know I I like I kind of like veered towards more um fine arts mm -hmm. uh, kind of like mixing different media with the textiles yeah mm -hmm. and you work with so many different um formats you know uh recently when you did um, you, the show for This Is Not a Dollhouse. What was the... Is that clay that you used? It was, it's, um, it's oven baked clay, actually polymer clay. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, because I, I don't have access to a kiln, really. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I could. I guess I could transport clay, you know, to mm -hmm. a location to have a kiln. But uh, I wanted something, actually, again, because, you know, I'm at home with my daughter. Mm -hmm. I wanted something that I can immediately... Like get results and like mm -hmm. uh, fire, so on, quote unquote, uh, at home mm -hmm. uh, without having to like go back and forth. So I just took to like polymer clay, mm -hmm. uh, and I did those. Uh, I started out making heads um, actually years ago when I was uh, still in middle school. Oh, like, yeah? I love making like clay heads. <laughs> and um, what inspired that? I, I don't even know. I just <laughs> I think like I. I think sometimes maybe like I have some pent up anger and I'm like heads will roll like that's like <laughs> constantly like it's just um yeah I make heads and then I just and then eventually I said okay I guess I'll make some bodies for those heads <laughs> so like that's and it just evolved from that and you made the clothes as well right I mean that was another yes I so. made yeah I make the the clothes for the dolls and mm -hmm. uh, yeah and actually like uh, if you can see, I mean, behind me, like I have the this mannequin that my daughter actually my daughter made this because mm -hmm. I, I got her into um, sewing on my oh, yeah. on my singer. Um, so we kind of collaborate on doing different like costume and things like that. That's so, really cool. Yeah. And you've made some, I think, dresses for her as well, right? Uh, I remember. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, children's clothes are fun because it's like it doesn't take much fabric and it's easy and fast so i i've also made like mommy and me clothes with her because uh -huh. we, like, we like to take pictures where we're dressed similarly yeah. and uh, it, it's really fun <laughs> having a daughter to to like who's into fashion because she's a natural like fashionista uh and she loves to dress up so she's like a muse too then too. she is yeah. she totally is my muse yeah yeah in, in more than one way. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, you know, her energy like informs my energy and mm -hmm. um, bouncing back and forth together. But like even <clears throat> watching her get dressed, the way she puts her clothes together, like makes me uh, feel younger and wanna like dress like I was like, oh wow, I wish I had done that when I was a kid or that I 
I wish I had those clothes when I was a kid. So, um, and so we kind of play together. That's that's really nice to have that kind of relationship. And it, it, is that kind of inspired from relationship that you had with your mother? It sounds like she really fostered your your talent and your. So I, my relationship with my daughter is quite different from my relationship with my mom. However, I feel like it's closer to the relationship I had with my mom's mom. Um, so I'm. I think, um, yeah, my mom and I are we're very close, but we're not very affectionate with each other. Um, but with Analea, I'm very affectionate, and I, you know, just trying to like um, change the the you know the narratives. Um, so, uh, but my grandmother was very affectionate with me, mm-hmm. uh, which is why it was so hard when she passed. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, it's always hard, but um, it was like extra. Yeah. Uh, um, so, um, so with Analia, even though like my mom does sew, for example, and she's sewn a lot of my clothes when I was a kid, um, but my grandmother was the one who like started teaching me how to sit at the sewing machine, and she had this this old singer that had like a no motor, like just a foot pedal. Oh yeah. And she, like, and she would teach me how to you know make it work with. The, the huge pet metal pedal <laughs> um so i think she she was a lot more um she allowed me to be very expressive and experimental um with uh her her creativity because she was also a seamstress mm-hmm. uh, so um I, I got a lot of that from her and and from my mom also yeah well, she definitely fostered your interest. I'm, you know, getting you into Dash and things for like sure, that. For so, sure, yeah. yeah, definitely. I give her credit um, for like, um, you know, it, supporting that. Um, and I know, like, as a Haitian parent, you know, sometimes um, there are a lot of uh, young Haitian artists who say that their parents don't um, encourage huh. uh, pursuing the arts, like because traditionally in Haiti, it's like. Okay, you're gonna be a nurse, a doctor, or a lawyer, or something like that. Sure. Um, so, like, I definitely give my parents credit for um, letting me like break out of the mold mm-hmm. and um, follow your passion. What I wanted. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Well, there was another show that you had at the uh, Miami International Fine Arts Gallery recently, and um, what was? Uh, can you talk a little bit about that show? So yeah, there are actually two shows kind of like just, I think a month or two apart. Mm -hmm. Um, One of them was like a very, uh, it was, I think it was right around Mother's Day uh, that it opened. And that one, I had a sculpture, uh, which was like a a textile sculpture of, um, that is titled uh, A Womb of Her Own. Mm -hmm. Uh, And that one was also in a, in a, exhibition at the camp gallery too oh that was a piece that was hanging right oh, yeah right it's like uh kind of like a a, a, a sheer fabric mm-hmm. um womb like it looks like a ball uh kind of structure i made mm-hmm. um and then there's like this little tiny um embryo mm-hmm. uh, fabric embryo hanging in it uh so that was uh at mifa uh, and then subsequently, my daughter and I both exhibited like photography pieces mm-hmm. uh, in the next exhibition there. Um, and actually, like uh, these were the pieces. Oh, okay, yeah. And that piece, if um, I know you can't see it, but um, was one that my daughter shot because you could see she has the remote. The trigger. And she, she has oh, okay. a trigger, yeah, and yeah. she she staged like the emotion <laughs> and told mommy, let's do this, and like we're like. And, and it's like it's titled the revolution is now oh yeah so um that's that was her creation so. that's cool and actually it's gonna be exhibited uh for women's history month uh at the little haiti cultural center oh with some other of our piece uh, photography pieces as well cool when is that coming up um that's i think it opens march 3rd mm-hmm. um so we were just selected for that oh that's so, cool yeah very cool yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, what camera did you use for that? Is that digital or? Actually, um, one of them uh, was uh, my Nikon uh, D5000. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like not a top of the line uh, mm. uh, 
DSLR, but um, the other two were actually my my iPhone. Really? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It looks like pretty sharp quality. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we've met like I I found that with decent lighting, you you can get you know pretty good quality um, prints and from, blow them up big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, this was as big as I could go um, mm. before you started seeing some some pixelation. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. But it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. No, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, aside from that show coming up in March, do you have any other things coming up that you can talk about or that uh, well, you're working on? Or so far, like right now, you know, because we just set up in this space, it's like we're really in a in a phase where we're like, you know, we just moved to to this house and it's like just setting in, mm-hmm. getting settled in. And um, so we're looking forward to creating new stuff. Mm-hmm. So right now, um, that's what we, that's what we're looking to as far as shows coming up. Um, but we hope we will be having a lot more um, as we start creating um, newer uh, pieces. Yeah. yeah. And uh, any particular medium that you're looking forward to working on this year? Uh, because gosh, you just, you dabble in a little bit of everything. I'm interested to see what you come up with next. Yeah, actually, I I am thinking uh, of like doing more photography, but um, also like maybe some montage um, and like more uh, Photoshop. Mm-hmm. Um, but I see like my daughter and I. We've kind of like been doing like paintings, so just mm-hmm. like intuitively just. We, like we just get bored and we're like, okay, let's go paint. And, you know, it's just, it, they're not necessarily pieces that we think we'll exhibit. It's just, um, just okay. we need to do it. So we just get our hands dirty. Um, but for now, um, I'm thinking uh, that's good, probably photography. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll see. Maybe some other stuff, too. And have you uh, looked at any other galleries that you're looking to, to exhibit at? Or have you thought of anywhere that you want to show or... Um, even venture into another county or city? Um, not sure yet. I I'm actually looking into some residencies um, that are like uh, family mm. uh, oriented. Um, I want to you know apply for some of those, and uh, maybe maybe she and I can uh, go mm. and uh, do these residencies together if we're selected. Um, so that's one thing I want to do is take some time out to really uh get inspired and uh create yeah that sounds really cool yeah and uh any more skateboards coming up uh well um not right now but i have been homeschooling my daughter which as if i didn't have enough on my plate but uh, i'm homeschooling her and she's gonna be going to this uh surf skate science um co-op where they teach them science through skateboarding and surfing oh that's Uh, cool so they physics and learning stuff. the physics of yeah. ramps and like uh just the, the how the wheels and the skateboard are made and like from a to z so that sounds um, fun where is that going to be yeah so they meet in different places like there's one in uh, deerfield beach uh, i think they do some surfing there some places in broward it's like it's alternating days so like mm-hmm. at the, and then the skate is i think um in north beach somewhere in mm-hmm. miami um so like it's just different places that sounds like a lot of fun wow yeah yeah i'm glad i found that um you know that resource it's it's great mm-hmm. yeah wow i wish i would have gotten into something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool that you're really exposing her to a lot of really neat things you know from the arts to now this stuff this is interesting <laughs> oh, yeah yeah no, i mean she, i i think it's important you know at her age to like expose her to as much as possible and see what sticks with her mm-hmm. and like not limit her you know very cool if she says she, she doesn't want to do anything with art like i'll be heartbroken but hey whatever she wants like i want her to be happy um doing what she wants to do so yeah, yeah. I, and i feel like as a mother that's like my main um goal is to make sure she's actual self-actualized and um doing what she wants to do and mm-hmm. being the best human being she can be so um so um, yeah, I'm all for like trying out different things. Very cool. Yeah, she looks like she's having fun with it. So that's the most important part, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she definitely is. <laughs> cool. Well, Leticia, thank you so much uh, for 
you know, uh, letting us come into your studio and your home and, uh, you know, taking the time with us today. We really appreciate you. Thanks again. Thanks. Like, thank, thank you for interviewing me. It's great. We look forward to seeing, uh, seeing you out there in, in the galleries and, uh, and seeing what you come up with next. Yeah, I'll definitely keep you posted on what's coming up. Sounds good. <laughs>